guys welcome to today's video it's tuesday we're at sales barn and we were hoping to get a baby duck or a duck one call duck but guess what no one's here for that but it is kind of busy and it is later in the day we're usually really early good morning guys welcome to today's video i can't tell if it's supposed to be warm or if it's going to be cold it kind of is humid but whenever the wind picks up it gets super chilly so Sam is working on my goat thing for the bucks. So we have a buckling area and a doe. We have a buck area and a doe area. I have two the same size. I thought I had three same size. Oh well, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm the not perfect kind of wife. I'm the. It has to be same size, like that, and then. See, this is too tall. Who cares? You're up like a half an inch. You're up half a finger. It doesn't have to be perfect. I believe in you that you can make it. Ellie, stop chasing chickens. Let's not have a repeat of last summer. <laughs> oh, I see. Why are you wearing a coat? It's actually warm. Where's your black sweater? Oh, this would be good for a top. I, I love it. One of those. Do I have any more skids around here? Yeah. So the idea is that um, he's going to make like a little shelter on the bottom. Then he's going to put a ramp down here, going up and to like a platform at the top. So this needs to be. Longer, you should build it down there. But yeah, he longer, will. Like. Would you put wood on top of here so that they don't yeah, like put I their? I brought some wood. Okay, good, because I want it flat instead of... I love skids. You can make anything out of skids. I believe in you, Sam. I think you can figure it out. Sorry. Well, let's go looking around, because we got a lot laying around the property. Anyways, I've been telling you guys about these bugs. Show them. All of our hands are swollen from it. Like, these little bugs. Yeah. They're all over, and they bite your hands. And then they swell up your hands. They, it's like, it's really weird. It, they're weird. They bite, though. And then they're itchy. It's too funzy. I like these though. These are fun. I know I bought them for something like if we have to make a divider or the chicken coop thing. Chickens you just put chicken wire on each side. I like that. I like those. Those are cool. I love it. And then the other one would fit perfect on that side. Honey, chase the pig. Honey, don't chase my pig. Oh my gosh! Look at Penny got. Honey in trouble. Oh my gosh. You're staying out there. You have to get used to being a pig. Don't go near the horses. Rule number one. Ellie's like, I, I love you. I'm sorry that they just threw you out here. She needs to, she needs enrichment though. She needs like. She has a whole. Has she has, yeah, lots of places to go. Little Miss Honey though <laughs> likes to chase her. Did you see that? She's ready to chase her. Honey needs her own baby. No, Honey is not having a baby. Not right now. But anyways. No, like Honey needs a friend, I know. Go play. You're just not going. Here, come on, I'll let you back baby in. Cow that she can play with. Yeah, Honey needs a baby cow she can play with. She wants out. I don't want her out here though, because then she could go on the road. Ellie's like, I want to be in there with you. And the pig is like, Come in, Ellie, come on, we're friends. <laughs> I actually see people locally, like somewhat locally, putting their horses in the horse fields now, like in the grass fields. I don't think ours are ready yet because the ground is still really wet. If you put them out there when the ground is still really wet, then they just make like ruts in the ground and it's not good. Don't let her out. You're staying in. I kept wondering like, no, what? <laughs> Ellie, don't go up there. These bugs, man. I kept, I kept asking myself, what are we going to use for this little area? Like, what are we going to... Oh my gosh, Sophie just brushed her. What are we going to use this for? It turns out it's a safe haven for the pig. Oh, she's got a mouthful of grass. Does she have grass in her mouth? That's adorable. I can't find my stick. I have a stick that tells you if the grass is tall enough. It's close. Turns out we can't get through. We got to go back. We're not we got to go back. But I'm looking at all this... All this grass and it's really short it's too eaten down she can get we're locked in 
just the animals are locked in. Oh, so frustrating. Oh, see, that's what he needs to do. And we have tons of poles. We should go get them and put them there. Yeah, yeah it's raining right now. So it looks like the ground, the grass is way too overgrazed. And Sam, a few weeks ago, ordered new seeds to plant in the spring and they're supposed to be here this week. So what's probably gonna happen is that our horses are gonna have to stay off the grass longer than most horses. Unless we put them over here in the goat area because there's lots of grass over here. Where are your babies? Oh, are they behind you? In the rain? <laughs> are you sure? I'm sure. I know oh my there. gosh. Oh, there they are. She can see them. She's the worst parent. She's is not the best parent. <laughs> We've had some good parents. She's We've the best parent. Had some bad parents. She's she also the, had the easiest birth. Yeah, she's the honestly the best parent. Actually, she she's awful. Parent. She's an awful parent. Fun fact, when Mocha's babies were newborn, uh oh, look at her udder, it's lopsided. When Mocha's babies were newborns, she wouldn't even clean their butts. We had to do it every day, like so many times a day, we have to come down and wash them because newborn poop is really gross and sticky and it sticks to them and can be like, make a huge mess and, sh and the moms usually clean it for many reasons. One, to keep their baby clean, two, to keep predators away and she refused, absolutely refused. And she never cuddled her baby. She never tried to keep them warm. There was none of that. Look at that though. Isn't that baby so cute having a drink? What's really neat is watching them with their babies. And you know what shocked me the most is that Tilly loves babies. Tilly, like, oh my gosh. Why, why, do you have a death wish? Why? Why, don't do it. Go get her, please. Tilly loves babies. She's our meanest goat. She's our least friendly goat with people. She's our least friendly goat with other goats. She's like the, the lead goat. She's looking at me. She's like, who are you talking about? She's bossy, the best mom. She is, so <laughs> she is such a good mom. Not only is she such a good mom, she takes care of other people's babies. As mean as she is to the other goats, she's that sweet to everybody else's babies. Her grandbabies, she would have let them nurse. She would have, you could, we could graft a baby. Why are you on my lap? You're just supposed to cuddle with me. I can't, ow. He wants to cuddle. He's too heavy. Shoot, I missed it. It was the cutest picture. All these goats standing up there eating hay and then Rosie's little tawny baby standing up there eating hay. They were all in a row. It was adorable. See how she's not with her baby? Yeah, she hardly even looks for her baby. She is a really good mom in terms of taking care of them, I think, kind of. But the minute she got outside, she was like, see you later. <laughs> Which is kind of okay. I'd rather that than like Tilly who hoards her babies and doesn't let anybody near them. Actually, Mocha's the same way with that. She's overprotective with her babies. She just doesn't do like the dirty work very well. I was quietly protective of my heart to reassure that I couldn't break to pieces and be left alone once more. If you hadn't been so patient, you'd be easy to ignore. You put up with all my bullshit till you didn't anymore. And now I stand. So I am working on. I'm working on leaving the pig down here, and it's going okay. She's gonna try and come back up with us. We got some water in the pool here. <laughs> She's like, you will not leave me. This is what happens when you let your Yorkie out in the mud. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna lie, I feel bad. It's raining and pigs don't like rain, they're like goats. But she can figure it out. She has to learn, she has to learn to figure it out. She's like, please don't leave me here. Go find a nice dry spot. There's a shelter right there. Lots of shelters in the goat barn. Poor little thing. She's bored in the house though. She's definitely not happy. She can get into the horse area. And then when she gets in the horse area, the only place that she can go is through here. See, she wants to come. Poor little thing. She doesn't like to be wet. <laughs> I'll watch her on the cameras and see if she settles. It's literally been raining for a month. I'm not even joking. <laughs> it's been raining for a month, at least. 
and it, it's uh, at almost the end of May and she has to get used to being outside and being a farm pig. What's happening? There's eggs. How many? Three. Oh, all right, get us some eggs. Well, a bunch of them apparently are trying to lay here now. All right, well, last year we put a lot of grass seed down here, a lot, and it's really growing in. But I think we need to get more. Gabby and I are addicted to my goat's milk caramel. It's supposed to be candy, like soft candy, but we actually find it more like a better consistency for dipping apples in. We have to go to the store and get apples. You know what I like is the soft caramel chews they make. That's yeah. what these are supposed like to be like. Put the chocolate inside of it. Butter. Well, we could make that and put chocolate inside of it. Quick, get your uh, coffee crisp. Throw it in there. Yeah. Anyway, we doubled the batch this time because Gabby and I are seriously, we ate the whole batch between us. Sam, did you eat any of the last stuff? No. Nope. Gabby and, uh, and I ate it all. So we're doubling the batch. Basically, you just have to boil this till it gets to 247, 247 degrees Celsius and just let it burn down. Add some vanilla and then poof, you have the best caramel sauce ever, but it's car it's it's got goat milk in it. So how do you find the goat milk? Yeah, I'm missing the milk. I am missing it too. So I stopped milking for the last few days uh, because we let babies nurse on them, on the moms. I'm gonna start again, but it's, I miss it. That stuff is addictive. It. I drink regular, He's milk. My coffee. Now I don't have any more to put I, it's as good as cream, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Goat's milk is naturally homogenized. That just means that it's got the fat milk built into it, like it's mixed in. So when you leave it in the fridge, the fat doesn't actually, or the cream doesn't actually separate and go to the top. It just stays mixed in and it's really high in cream. It's almost like it's high fat milk, but it's almost like a richer high fat milk. But lately, recently, when I haven't been getting any more milk, I I had to drink regular cow's milk the other day and I was disgusted by it. I saw where some people say that goat's milk tastes goaty. It has like a goaty flavor to it. And mine has never, it's only just tasted so amazing. It tastes like milk, but way, way better. And what I read and what I found out was that when it has a goaty flavor to it, it means that your milk has some bacteria. It's just like a harmless bacteria that can be on the goat. You can still drink it and it's not a big deal. But to get rid of that, you have to really wash the goat's teats really, really well. I washed the whole udder. And then you have to express the first couple of drops, first few drops out so that you don't use that part. And that gets rid of any kind of bacteria that's on your goat. And I've always done that. And I think that must be why, or my goats just don't have that bacteria, but it is, I, Sam and I are hooked. My pig has been out the longest that she's ever been out. At least three times I wanted to go out and get her. I've looked out the window a bunch of times. I've seen honey chasing her. It is dinner time. No horses, no goats. <laughs> One of my guineas is down there. Can you see it? It's moving. One of them, <laughs> you can see it pop its head up. One of them is stuck in here. Go out, be with your partner. I don't know how you guys keep getting... Come on, go, come on. All right, I'm gonna leave this door open. What's wrong with you? <laughs> She's in there crying for her babies, but they're really good, they listen to her. Still haven't found my pig. I don't see her, but I hear her. Oh, you're here, piggy girl. Hi, hi baby. How's it going? Her nose is all dirty. <laughs> she, she looks like she's been looking for food. You got the chickens and the goats to keep you company. You wanna go up and have supper? Sometimes I feel like she just wants me to be with her. Like, no, let's go put them away. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like she just wants me with her. She like wants to be outside. Yes, did you miss me? She missed me. Did you miss me? Oh, such a good girl. Look, she won't leave my side now. Normally she runs and runs. 
stuck to me like glue. <laughs> Here's your daily dose of cuteness. Of amazing cuteness. You can tell it's a little, the camera's a little light because he's darker. <gasps> hey, don't you do that to my pig. What do you expect? She's gotta protect the gremlins. The babies are so cute though. Like look at how he just lays there and puts his leg down. All right, let's do it. Come on, Posey, let's go home. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh, we're attracting the wrong one. That is it for today's video. Tomorrow is Wednesday, and that means that we are two days away from bringing home another one of our chosen pets. Remember, we have a pig, two goats, and a horse, all to come home this summer. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?